In 1998, Kenya, Somalia, and California had record rainfall, resulting in all kinds of problems like flooding. At the same time, Indonesia had the worst drought on record. And in the South Pacific, 16 cyclones occurred compared to the average of 8. Why all this extreme weather? Let's blame it on El Nino. El Nino is a climate pattern that takes place in the South Pacific. It takes place roughly every 2 to 7 years. If the average sea temperature is 0.5 degrees Celsius warmer for at least 5 consecutive 3-month periods, an El Nino is present. Let's try to understand what causes an El Nino. During normal conditions, trade winds blow east to west and push warmer water on the surface west, and then this water piles up on the western Pacific. At the same time, on the eastern side around South and Central America, as the warm water is pushed west, it is replaced with cold water in a process called upwelling. However, some years the trade winds are weaker like in 1998. This results in warm surface water not being pushed as far westward and remains near the east coast. One result is that the jet stream moves southward, which can result in the northern U.S. and Canada being very warm and dry, but at the same time increased rainfall in the southern U.S. along with dry areas in South Asia. Eventually, the trade winds regain their strength, and then some years you have the opposite. They will be stronger than normal, and the opposite happens. The sur warm surface water is pushed further west, and this allows for more upwelling of cold water on the east. This is called La Nina. If the sea surface temperature is 0.5 degrees Celsius colder than normal, it's a La Nina. This may sound odd since La Nina occurs in the Pacific, but it increases the chances of hurricanes in the Atlantic Ocean due to its impact on atmospheric pressure. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.